Hello everyone, my name is Dromat and today we're going to do a Tlia jungle guide with a very very different build and we're going to talk about Moonstone in general and I applied some tweaks to the idea of the build, I'm going to present you my findings and obviously I'm playing in flex on a Rob Nordic against the round platinum diamond level it's uh, it's not going to be tried in solo queue, okay? And we're going to uh, also do this build, I'm going to showcase you the room, the build, everything that you need to know to play Moonstone to life. Let's see though, I'm not gonna say it's a very good build or a very bad build, I'm going to try to display it and you're gonna, we're gonna all draw our conclusions from that. Also, um, Tulia is going to get nerfed next patch, again, so Riot, please, <laughs> I mean, at what point do we just give up on this champion. I mean, I hope that at least they nerf the jungle and not the passive again or Q cooldown or E. Just nerf where she's strong in the jungle, not on mid, not on top, not on bottom. I'm just... Alright, so we're gonna start this game with a full clear. We're going to talk about the rune choices, going to go over the build and I'm going to try to showcase, uh, to display what's my idea for this, uh, for this build. Alright, so for runes, after I'm auto-attacking this guy two more times and casting any here. For runes, I'm playing with Dark Harvest, Cheap Shot, Eyeball Collection, Ingenious Hunter because I'm really curious if it works with Moonstone. Uh, Presence of Mind, Cup the Grace and these rune stats, they're gonna ask why Presence of Mind? Well, mainly because uh, with this build you might not have that much mana because we're not going Lost Chapter so a tier might work. Also, I'm going to showcase you the build in like a second. I should have also worded my red, which you should do when you're not making a YouTube video and you forget to do so because you're focused on the idea. Alright, so uh, please don't reset. Thank you. Alright, so the build... Ivern was top, so I'm going to assume he stole my red. I'm not sure, because you don't level 2. I don't do level 2. He has just one camp taken so I'm not sure I'm going to see right now because I haven't had time to look and we have probably an Eloy that's going to die yeah okay he got my uh, he got my red buff I'm going to talk about the build immediately after I try to stop the dive from Jax because I expect him to do the dive right now also I'm going to lose a camp here the red buff because obviously <laughs> looking over the video and going to do an E, W, and I'm going to try to gank bot. Okay. Please don't die there. Okay. Cost an E. Oh man. Oh, well, he flashed. Uh, I'm not gonna push it more than this. Uh, I, I got it enough at an enough spot. That was a pretty bad gank. Okay, about the build. Also, uh, Ivern ganking. About the build, guys. We're gonna showcase the Moonstone, the Moonstone uh, stuff of flowing water type build, and we're going to start the build. I don't even have it here. I, I went over a word. We're gonna start with. I think I can. Uh... No, it's fine. Okay. What? Got her too? Lol. Okay. You gotta get out of there, man. It's fine, we got the passive. Okay, so we're gonna talk about the Moonstone build, which they, they don't let me showcase it. Okay, he got this. And I also have 14 CS head. Basically, the build states that going into Moonstone, as LS said on his latest video, uh, can make you a pretty darn strong champion if you are an AP mage, or on bot lane if you are something like Zyra, or stuff like that. And I can counter gang that. So basically, the idea behind this build is going into Moonstone and uh, stuff of flowing water, you can actually do some pretty nasty stuff. Uh, because uh, you can heal a lot with it, so... This is the item, basically the build would be Moonstone into uh, cooldown reduction boots into stuff. And I'm gonna do Moonstone here because I 
don't know. Also, always go for the Kindle Gem because this item is awfully, awfully undervalued as far as I recall. Okay, I'm going to go here. So the build would look like this. I don't have it prepared. Moonstone into stuff. Uh, get into stuff of flowing water. Get uh, before that also uh, something like... Uh, I see the jacks. Something like uh, cooldown reduction boots or sork shoes. And after that, go for something like Zonia. Because you need some uh, type of survivability. This build ensures that you're going to have... Um, a much cheaper build pad. Basically, if you calculate it, you have uh, somewhere like four dot uh, four thousand and five hundred gold for this entire build, and it's it's an amazingly strong build for the cheapness that it has. Cause you put some more gold and you have two items instead of just the one Landry. Okay, I'm here, and I can do a dive here. Well, dive it's. Oh man, I can uh, I can cast a Q here. Okay, they played it pretty bad. I'm gonna help him push, and I'm going to go towards the bot lane. All right. As you can see, the mana though the mana issues are insane. So if you don't get your blue buff, you're going to struggle a bit. I can't even find the item so easily. So I'm going for this. Going for a vision ward, going for the blue. Uh, why Why is this build good though? The question you might have. Why, why would this build might work? Uh, basically, as I said into the one of the latest videos of mine on the channel, not the live stream. Uh, basically, the meta has shifted towards the hyper carry ADC Jin Kaiser stuff. And with Gale Force, ADCs are much, much more stronger now. So going something like Moonstone basically ensures that you're going to have a rather simpler time in helping them carry the game. And this is goes hand in hand with uh, other lanes, so it's not necessarily uh, that you should play... Uh, it's not necessarily that you should play onto this... How can I say it? It's not mandatory for you to play uh, with the Landry build and you can just go for this kind of build and you can pick a tier and you can do uh, as much utility, not as much damage as a Landry build, but at least as much uh, stuff in general. Okay, so I see the I see the guy. And if I go here, their bot might follow, but I doubt. They don't have... They likely don't have vision on here. Yep, where is the Ivern? And we caught the Ivern here so hard. I was sure that he was ganking there because I've seen the actual uh, pathing. Because he didn't come where I was, so it was only one place where he could be. Okay, now I hear I gotta be careful about the Jax. I don't he's here though, I think he recalled. But uh, you'll notice that without tier, this build might be a little difficult to deal with. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna save you, buddy. Although, I don't think I'll be able to showcase you the full power of the, of the build if you win in like 20 seconds. <laughs> so, yeah. So, again, the build works as an idea, as a concept, mainly because how the meta has shifted uh, towards the hyperscaling of the ADCs. And getting a Kai'Sa in your team with a lot of fields into the mid to late game, as you can see with Ivern in general, is going to help you a lot. And there is a lot of flame in their team. Okay, gonna cast an E here. Gonna move towards mid, cause... Can you dodge it? No. Okay. Uh, he went on the other side. I hadn't had time to help him. But as you can see, I already have gold to buy the item. Uh, and I'm going for the Drake. Because it's so cheap, as you can see here, I already have a lot more gold than, than allowed for this item. And I don't have I don't have smite, but I can drag it. Because Ivern is most likely at his red. And we're gonna push him away if he comes with a W. Nice. Alright. 
All right, so I'm going to do some more clear. Your clear power, th th let's do some pros and cons. So your clear speed decreases. You have mana issues if you don't get here, but your uh, help in theme fights increases tremendously. So this is the trade-off that you're looking at, guys. Basically, you're looking at uh, some damage against a lot more sustain and uh, team fight utility. As you can see now, my mana is suffering greatly already because I don't have the blue buff. So I'll have to go for it. I'll go for a tier even though it's late. And I suggest for you to I suggest for you to try it with tier first if you want to. But please don't try it in ranked. Just uh, just take your time a bit to see how it works in normal games. And I already tested it in normal in actually I've tested it in flex, I think. <laughs> but don't do that. That was missed Kaiser W. Alright, I think Eloy at this point wins one versus two. Yep. And we helped her we helped her enough. Alright, we can go here for Yonian boots and also a tier. Oh my god, they actually outplayed her. So we now have the Moonstone and you're going to start to see the healing in action. We're also against a healing champion, two healing champions, so anti-heals would work. But basically this forces you to go for anti-heals. And it's not, for example, you're not, it's not that's recommended to go into dives here, for example, into jumping onto the tower as much. That's because, uh, that's because the Moonstone is not that useful. And I am a bit stuck here. Oh, come on, die. Okay, I got one. As you can see, the burst is not that high, but... The overall temperature and things and stuff that you, you know, you do. I can't show you though the build yet. I need, I need to fight. I need to fight because or a two versus two, but we're winning so fast, man. I hope they don't surrender at fifteen. Well, at least it's some clear jungle gameplay. I'm two levels ahead, thirty CS ahead. Uh, counter gank twice top. Ivern, I don't think he's a main. As he plays sort of fieldish. Alright, so now with the tier, we're allowing ourselves to have infinite mana. And they are flaming beautifully. I get him. Yep, I'm going to recall. Actually, I'm not. I'm going to try to force a fight for you to see the actual power of the healing uh, where is the I uh, don't have it. you need to set up the build because it's not in recommended you're not going to get recommendations for this but I wanted to showcase the full power of this so we need the fight all right so we go somewhere like our blue and then bot and we're going to be towards our ADC because you heal it and as these items combine say Basically, you heal a lot and give a lot of uh, AP or movement speed towards the closest targets in uh, this reset. So if you if you stick towards your ADC, you're going to have a nicer time. Uh, as you can see here, not Moonstone, sorry, stuff. Right here. You give shielding and ally grants you both uh, movement speed and ability power. Movement speed is useful because your ADC can reposition quicker. Um, ability power is useful for champions such as that Vladimir, right? And I'm going to position myself here. They didn't see me. Okay, I'm going to try something here. Ah, I missed it. Can I get this? Please don't steal this. Alright, and we're gonna stick around here till someone comes, right? Because we try to we try to heal here the the Caitlyn a bit to see how this functions. And I would guess that Anivia will come about now. Yep, Anivia is here. Okay, we can do maybe even if it's a three versus five or something. I want that. Yep, I see Ivern, I see everyone. I can actually go here. Okay, come, come, come. Ooh. I'm alive! I'm alive! I'm alive! No one comes. I inted, <laughs> but I'm alive. <sighs> I can't I can't display it, oh boy. I 
she got any of you though. <laughs> Although I think Ingenious Hunter is a bad idea if you don't get killed so. <laughs> I can't get closer. Eh! Self heal? <laughs> Does it work on self heal? I'm not. I'm not sure. The most wanted nearby ally. I think. <laughs> I'm not sure if it restores to yourself too. Oh, hi, Jax. Hi, Jax. Look at that man! <laughs> Look at that! This is amazing! And that's uh, so they they see me so I have to move away if they come. Alright, stuff of flowing water. A a tome two control words don't forget to switch to red trinket don't forget to get control words i'm really curious at the end of the game that uh, about my healing and yes morgana going uh, afk is actually making the game worthwhile because <laughs> it's too easy like this um, all right we're going for four drakes we're going to protect the adc as best as we can and as you can see uh our presence of mind is doing work because without it, okay, someone stole it. And if you guys fight 2 versus 4, it's going to be rather difficult to win. But we're still heavily ahead in CS. Although I am not I'm not flaming the opponents because I know I'm Master Tia and they are not. So we're not going to do that. We're just going to test the build. We're going to have a little fun. But although my, my bot lane destroyed, destroyed theirs... Okay. Get the guy. Okay. Man. 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 I'm not dealing enough damage to kill him solo. But I can heal this guy. He's not gonna die, is he? Yep. Oh boy. Oh boy. I inted. <laughs> Alt. They win, they win this, they win this. No? No? Yeah, they win this. <laughs> but I want to, to go near Caitlyn. I This is not a build to do engages, this is not a build to do this kind of fights where we 1 versus 9. This is a build where you play around your ADC and if you feel like you got a good ADC you could try it. Although, again, this guy will probably kill them all here. Oh! Almost. So we need a stopwatch and we also need to do healing. How much healing we did? 500. Not a lot. Much less than... No, the same as Ivern. <laughs> okay, he, he has 500. But then again, uh, because we have this Q, this consistency on the Qs, we are having a much, uh, a much better time at dealing damage. Man, they int a lot. Coming. Coming. Look at the heals. <laughs> Alright. We're gonna damage and heal people. That's the target. Oops. Look at that! Frigging healing, man. Look! Look at the Caitlyn! She's full HP all the time! <laughs> oh. Okay, back off. I want I want to heal her. Let let me heal her. A thousand This I I healed a thousand in the last fight, guys. I healed a freaking thousand. And there is no one else with uh, this kind of healing, so it's probably all on me. That was a thousand healing in the fight. 
guys. <laughs> then again, you got the makeup for the loss damage, so you got to be aware that obviously you're not going to deal that much. And I'm gonna clear this. Also here at the third big item, so after the boots, I am not completely sure if Zone is a good idea or Ardent or what exactly. So I'm this is still experimental. I'm thinking either Zonia if you are decently focused. Rabadons if you really want burst because your team doesn't have enough damage so for example your IDC hasn't scaled yet and something like oh boy how much healing 300 healing for that <laughs> for that combo I got 300 healing now I'm still not sure though if I heal myself I think I've seen it oh I am dead <laughs> you can't you can't fight people with this because <laughs> you're gonna int. Alright, now I have enough gold for Zonia, so I suppose it's a good idea. Uh, guys, you should wait me. Also, another thing, if you play this kind of Talia, you're not going to farm that much, maybe. You're going to more likely help your team in fights instead. Uh, okay. So, they are low HP enough for them to lose the fight. Why is Ivern there? I'm not sure. Man, my team is winning already without me because we're so ahead. Oh, okay, we're losing because he oh, <laughs> got trick because he didn't have time to cast ult. Oh, he casted ult only on Ivern, I think. So I'm coming here, casting ult, jumping here. Wait, I have Zonia, so let's heal her. Let's hear the Caitlyn. We're winning this. We're winning this, I'm sure. Okay, careful. Come. Okay. Okay, get this too. Guys, help me, help me, help me, help me, help me. I'm alive. I'm alive. Burning. Burning from Landris. Okay, I'm alive. Oh boy, she's dead. I mean, this works better the higher in Elo you go. And there is a Kaisa W that's coming towards my face. But yeah, the healing man. 3000 healing, I have had half of my healing. And I'm also dealing damage compared to him. Be uh, well, it's a bad example because I'm highly ahead, but still. Look, look at that. Why am I healing like this? Yeah, so basically this thing might work. Again, I'm not I'm not having the damage to actually kill. So we're not focusing on that part. I also have seen Jackson the bot lane, so that's why I'm going like this. I don't have enough mana probably for this. I also got there, so Archangel would also be man. Okay. Okay. Let's do a double Iku combo. Oh, nice. Jax used that spell, so we could engage here. Okay. Little bits of healing. He has no hextage yet? What? Okay. Oh boy. That was close. Okay, I have Zonia for this. Okay, we got the flash of Anivia. And this heals, this will keep healing people. Okay, let's go here. You should be careful there. Okay, good, 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 good. Nice! Dealing damage, dealing damage to this. Sending heals to the Eloy. Okay. 
Okay, got to cast this spell. Well, I mean, I'm alive, but if my Vladimir doesn't engage or my Elo is behind... Man! Look at the engage Morgana did, man! You should win in this, you should definitely win this. Exactly, and now we could move to... We cannot move to Baron when we spawn, if you got that also. Exactly, so we're gonna ping Baron. Ah, uh, never mind. Back off, back off. Let's see his healing though, I'm trying to see if he'll have better healing than me, but not really. The main problem is though that... <laughs> Why are you pinging Morgana? It's, it's the main and top, our main and top, plus this build, man. I'm not sure this guy is the main, but that's the main problem. That's why we're not stomping. So this build won't work. I'm going to go for Oblivion Orc because we need it to. This build won't work if your team, uh, if you don't have a good ADC or or a good player to focus on. You know, he's kind of trollish, to be honest. She should have been the front line a lot more considering the healing. Uh, but you can see the differences between having the extra damage and not having that. So I'm gonna do here this. I don't have... I don't have any vision here, so... I'm gonna cast this in case they wanna start it. But I'm going to need help. Yes, I'm gonna need help. Because I can't move there. Yep, I was sure Jax is here. Uh, okay. Okay, so my Eloi and my... The, uh... Well! That's a team. Apparently, at this Elo. Well, without... <laughs> <laughs> that was without smite. <laughs> well, at least we have soul. So that was worth. It was very stupid to flash there because a good jungler would have just kept it. But we still have chances. The Jax carries though kind of alone because... Because again... Because again, there is a bit of a <laughs> situation. My man has flash and ult and doesn't go to the Baron, so yeah. <laughs> Is he even trying to do something here? I don't. Flash on her, do a Q. What are you doing? Yeah, never mind. And we need to go mid now because obviously Ilaoi will. Oh! Okay, we won the game. Lol. We won the game, we won the game. Let's let's bridge the mid. Still, 4k healing. 4k healing on Tlia. Also, I'm not sure about the cooldown of the item. Exactly. I don't know where I can see. I don't think it's reduced by Ingenious Hunter, though. I don't think so. And we can bridge the base here. Got the Drake, man. I'm happy about it. Oop. Okay. There might be a Jax teleport, so we have to back off. Also, I'm thinking Ardent next. I'm definitely thinking Ardent next. Okay, get that. I'm gonna recall right here. You're recalling in a pretty odd spot, mate. Okay, we both escaped. Alright, 1500 gold. Probably, probably going for. Wait, everyone having. Now I can't sell anything. I need to stick to this gold until we get something more. I could go though for a uh, elixir, but I don't think that's the required thing. Alright, so we do have still the level advantage. I haven't catched up a bit.
But if Caitlyn dies, dear. Oh man. Where are the rest of them? Oh, Caitlyn survived, okay. That's fine, but. Yeah, he wanted to flash. They have to recall there. Okay, engage, 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 engage. You could have gone more. What? Oh boy. Yep, so this build might work at higher elos, so to say. Because now Jax is going to flash on your face and you're gonna die. Yep. As predicted. As freaking predicted. Then again, not a carry build, a shield build, 4k, I think he catches me now, yep, he catched me with this, because Daisy heals a lot, and although I likely did more damage than him for this game, for example, probably it would have been better to go the normal build. Why would you ask? Well, because uh, if you think your carries are not that skilled or you think you can do better, then yeah, sure, go for it. But this is, I think, the simpler Talia build out there. If you enjoy this kind of oddity. And Caitlyn is coming, gonna pass it to her, because we focus on that. And there is an Elder coming up. Don't think I'm gonna crop this game, though, so you can see the entire thought process behind the item. Alright, I'm gonna finish more Nomicon, because they heal a lot. They heal a lot too much. Or should I go for this? Immobilizing champion supply 6%. No. You know, it's the book. Because we don't immobilize the target. But yeah, we go mid now. We have a final fight likely. Hopefully, we win it. Man. You are in a bad spot. Stop! Why? Why did you do... Man, he's pinging someone else after his int. Okay, got the Soraka flash. Okay, we're winning this. Healing. Okay, good. Get the Soraka. Okay, get the get the Elder. A lot more heal for this fight too. Get the Elder there. I need to stick to this side. Because there is going to be an Ivern that's coming. Where is he? Okay, they can't they can't do it. I wanted to protect myself towards the Ivern, that's why I stayed like that. We now need to go Baron immediately. And we need to be careful at the possible Jax teleports. Also, this is the time to get uh, a Sork a Sork uh, Elixir because we're not going to go for the Archangel stuff. You're not going to have enough gold for it. I think they are already doing it, to be honest. I think we lost it. Okay. We didn't get any vision with that. <laughs> okay. So, why is my guy there? You don't have teleport, man. Why are you there? Oh. Okay, for some reason, Vladimir is there. Trying. Healing, 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 healing. Okay, good. Auto attack. There we go. There we go. And I don't think it's GG to be honest, because we they have a Nivea. No, it's not GG. 
Should have been Baron this, but then again. That was a flash heal. Thousand heal onto the <laughs> onto the Caitlyn dive. Good. Hit the towers. Heal up. Iron coming in. Minions. Hit it. Okay, Jax is coming. Now, if only Vladimir would have played good. Don't don't You left me there, man. You left me there. And now we're going to likely die too. Oh. Yeah, he's dead. Oh! Why are they throwing surrender? This guy, Jesus. Okay, and we're going to likely go for this. 700 more gold. That was very idiotic. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's done. It's done. But still, did I do more? I did more healing than him. I want to compare the damage, the healing, the all the stats after that. But then again, the performance is skewed because I played very well. He didn't play that much early on. And out attack, out attack the tower, the tower. Good job. And do the nexus. And the nexus. You can, you can end. Tower. I think we can still lose. If Caitlyn fails there, we gonna lose. Yep, we lost. If <laughs> we lost, <laughs> I, I, I don't. I don't think we lost though. I think I can alt and get the nexus. They can't get anything out of it. it. I'm overreacting with the we lost part. I'm gonna finally complete uh, here the the freaking uh, stuff that I have for like ages in my backpack. There is this. I'm going to also get the wolves. I'm not sure what he's doing there. Yep, that's what I want to do. Yep, yep. Yep, that's what I'm going to try because they are doing Baron. And my ult is actually half of the map. And <laughs> I teleported. <laughs> yeah, so that's why I'm saying we could lose. I was sure they were defending, but it was worth a try. Okay. We're defending this. Man, this game is infinite really really infinite game an eternity of a game if they die on mid we lost the game back off why are you defending this you gotta defend this not that I mean, it takes just a fail from Caitlyn to get caught and we're done. One last fight though. Uh, cosmic Drive though. Alright, somehow they didn't die. Somehow we're lucky today, let's go! Alright. Uh, we could just run them down on mid with the jacks being on the split side duty. I'm gonna cast alt here. Okay, gonna f frame drop a bit. Okay, Vladimir went for it. Okay, we going, 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 going. Cause, cause the Vladimir tries to end. But he got roughed by everyone. Don't you wanna like cast W for Christ's sake? Man! Why are you pinging my ult? Jesus. Okay, I do have Zonia. So we're gonna struggle a lot. Flash from Jax.
they do have any ships soon, so we're not we're not winning this. I'm not sure why you ping me like we can do something there. We cannot. Vladimir getting caught there ensured that. Okay. We are going to definitely lose this if Vladimir doesn't pull that off. That could have been an engage because Ivern is on the other side. We should have we should have engaged that one, but I guess not. Ivern was mid. Go, 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 go! Ivern is not there. Go, go. Or not, I suppose. Okay, back a bit off, move towards the Eloy, okay, that's good, I mean if you do die to that, she's dead, isn't she, well unlucky I guess, Un Lucky, but then again, the build. I would say it works. They look at the chat. <laughs> look at the chat. No, it was a, uh, it was a bit, a bit uh, hard on the mid and top side. But uh, yeah, with with a good ADC, I think this is very doable. And just peeling the, I should have peeled peeled the jacks. I tried to heal the Vladimir, but I guess. Uh, he doesn't Zonia ever, or he doesn't even have it. But yeah, Caitlyn tried. I guess, I'm not even sure what Hilo is this. Okay, gold one, but everyone else is platinum and diamond. I understand, I've seen the... Okay, so 33,000 damage, and let's see the... I'm curious. Ally healing, a thousand less healing, and 8,000 more. Uh, damage self healing he dealt he dealt 12,000 uh, shields but then again the damage dealt I was still in top in damage in my team in top two three even with this kind of build so I suppose uh, I suppose that's a build to try so yeah guys I really hope you enjoyed this and see you next time guys goodbye